The F2 Freestylers, or perhaps the F2, are a British freestyle football duo consisting of former amateur football players Billy Wingrove as well as Jeremy Lynch. They are unquestionably the best football freestylers on the internet, having spent years spotlighting their athletic ability online and establishing themselves in the world of football. On April 8, 2011, the duo launched F2 Freestylers, a channel on YouTube where they post freestyle video content and tutorials showcasing football skills as well as tricks, frequently showcasing famous people and professional players. They've built a social media empire over the years with 14 million subscribers and over 3.1 billion views on YouTube. So what exactly happened between these two? What really caused the F2 freestylers downfall? To understand what really happened, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. So let's begin with Jeremy Lynch. Lynch allegedly played in Arsenal's academy as a teenager before being released. He claims to have been told that, on the ball you're the best in the club, but off the ball you're one of the worst. Now watch this video. They said, on the ball you're the best at the whole club, including the first team. I was only 15 at the time, best. But they said, off the ball, you're one of the worst at the club. Which was true, and it was because I was too raw, I didn't have any much coaching when I was uh, growing up. Even in the video, you can tell by Billy's expression that he wasn't entirely convinced. Despite the presence of players such as Thierry Henry, Robert Pires and Dennis Bergkamp in the Arsenal squad at the time, some have questioned the truthfulness of his claim. Fabrice Mwamba, a retired professional footballer and Arsenal Academy player, did not recall Lynch being a member of the team. He then proceeded to show a team photograph, but he was not anywhere to be found. Following the release of this video, internet meme assassins slaughtered Jeremy. Billy Wingrove emerged from an English football family, with his father Alan briefly playing in Tottenham Hotspur's youth setups. When he was 11, he had a trial for Tottenham Hotspur, but was told he was too small and thus not physically strong enough to make it at the professional level. However, the problems began to emerge in 2018. On March 4, 2018, F2 and XO, a YouTube group composed of True Geordie and Stephen Tries, were supposed to film an entertaining YouTube collab, but things didn't go as planned. Throughout the filming process, the EXO boys were irritated by Jeremy's behaviour and attitude. The 25th of March, the F2 won the Wembley Cup on the day, but there was controversy after the F2's team lost to EXO in the preliminary rounds, complaining that the official cheated by blowing his whistle too soon. After that, Jeremy found out about Stephen Troy's diss track from the day before, so Jeremy completely trash-talked about them recounting how Jeremy tried to verbally harass him, but we didn't have the full context of the event until September 1st, 2020. Someone posted a video of the altercation on Twitter. It showed Jeremy and his friend berating Stephen before True Geordie intervened. This clip ruined Jeremy's reputation even further. Following this, a growing number of individuals in the business began to speak out more about their own experiences of working with Jeremy. One online commenter stated, I've always actually enjoyed Billy, he gets mixed into all this but he appears to be a decent guy having to work with a walking ego. People disliked his ego and labelled him as a narcissist. His fans began to turn against him and this has largely continued to this day. Things didn't get any better after that, especially for Jeremy. People began to share their stories about working with the F2 and Jeremy was always at the centre of the controversy. Spencer records that the referee in fact committed fraud at the Wembley Cup by blowing his whistle two minutes early during their loss to EXO because apparently he didn't like the F2 boys. This was discovered due to the referee sending emails to Spencer several years after the event. More in the talk show, Spencer makes reference that things behind the scenes of the F2 are unbelievably unstable and that Jeremy and Billy weren't on the greatest of terms and hadn't been for a long period of time. Jeremy exemplifies the type of person we dislike in this industry influencer lifestyle with a profound lack of self-awareness and a huge ego. There are rumours that they've gotten rid of the F2 Academy which was like an education thing they had and some of the reason that he's rumoured to be behind that is because they're not on good terms. They continue to upload to the F2 channel but they no longer appear in the videos together. Despite the negative press, Jeremy is still doing well on TikTok and YouTube where he has nearly 7 million subscribers. 
Billy runs his family channel and recently managed Sidemen FC in the YouTube All-Star Charity Game, so his content is very child-oriented. I believe we can all agree that Billy is probably much better off without Jeremy. So what do you guys think of the situation? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Hope you guys enjoy the video, stay tuned for more football updates and hit the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified about our next video. Bye bye.